Hey everyone, Erin here, your hostess of the mostess, and welcome back to another episode of Chance Gaming. Um, we're doing something a bit weird this time, and John can explain it faster. Oh, well, not necessarily faster, just better. Do it fast, John. I'm sick of your shit. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, just to do this, not have as a huge intro, sorry for not shaking, um, like, uh, last time, if you didn't see those episodes, um, or that episode, depending which this one is on, um, these videos are, uh, Ludum Dare videos. They're, uh, student or whatever, like, just people, um, participate in a game jam event where they make a game in 48 or 72 hours, depending on the, what it is, and they make a game based on a common theme. And this game jam, Ludum Dare, number 43, the theme was Sacrifices Must Be Made. So, a lot of these games are going to be, kind of look really unpolished, but that's because they're made in 72 hours. So you got to give them a pass for that. And um, I'll provide the links, so if you want to go and play them for yourself, and, you know, show some love to the creators, that would be... Super duper awesome. Wow, you actually did a good job with that. Um, thank you. You're welcome. Now, on to the games! I, I swear I don't know her. I like that we have like this thing going on where you do all the reading and all this stuff, and then I just get to play. Yeah, I'm glad it took us like, I don't know, 10, 12 games, something like that, to figure that out. Yep, but that's just typical. Alright, uh, I'm gonna just, ooh, fade in the background. Sure, here we go. Alright, so, next one is Scapegoat. This is by Linear Thomas Kresg. Kresg? I am so sorry. Uh, Angie Katniko. And Aurel. Or Aurel? I don't know. Um, and it looks like. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is just them two, and then their um, websites. So it looks like Thomas is the one that did the music, and I'll figure out the rest of them. Okay, and this is like the, the stuff that is just straight in game. So the world is dying. Nobody knew exactly why until this ancient prophecies were uncovered. It seems that the only way to stop the world from falling apart is to bring a goat to the ancient temple in the forgotten woods beyond known any land. Beyond known any. You have been chosen to bring the goat for this task. A pesky little goat known as Snowball. He doesn't really like the idea of being sacrificed, so he will tr try his hardest to run away and let the world fall. Hotkeys, facade to move, space to jump. Interact with objects E, okay, good items. F to attract goat, okay. Q throws a carrot, so like Q is like, I guess, more attraction. Okay, description. Scapegoat is a first person Legend of Zelda style puzzle game about a man on a quest to save the world by sacrificing a goat to appease the angry gods. Um, oh, those are lots of buck fixes and things. Okay, um, movement. Don't forget ship to sprint. E pick up. Q space. Uh, crouch C. Okay, that's, that's a lot of them. All right, let's go ahead and get the download. This isn't going to be a huge game, is it? Mini Megabyte. That's 
pretty big for uh, game field. Uh, oh, Alright. Oh, it's still just waiting to download it. Um. Yeah, I got nothing. I'm I'm just bad at conversation in general. But you know what I seem to be good at? I seem to be good at putting myself down. I should probably work on that. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Come on. There we go. Hopefully this doesn't take quite as long, but I imagine it would since that took quite a bit. Uh, Yes. All right. Oh, 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 we're almost done. I think. Okay. There we go. That. And okay, looks like it's all ready for yarn. All right. Let's give this a whirl. All Oh, oh, that's nice. <laughs> the little goat print. Can't touch it. Oh. 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 Just me and my goat friend on adventures
<laughs> what? What are you trying to do, girl? Okay. Throw you around. You love to be thrown around, don't you? Come on. Save the world if you just fucking around all the time. Come on. Do it. Yes. Don't move so fast, you piece of shit! Imagine this is a pretty long game, unfortunately. Oh, are you shitting me? <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Generous of you. What? 
That's where this game ends. I got really close to beating it. But, not quite. I was one key short. Oh, I want to be in the promised land. Please let me in. over to John. There we go. Okay. So, let's look at this. Theme of sacrifice. Uh, narratively, the goat is a sacrifice. That works. And I guess you have to sacrifice carrots, so that helps uh, with it. I don't think it was the greatest thing. Whatever. Graphics? Okay, the graphics were really good. Um, like, especially for a game doing it. Audio, top notch. Like, that song was great. And I love that someone actually was doing the goat sounds. And they did a pretty good job. But, um, so the humor, humor was definitely there. I wouldn't say that it was, like, humor beyond just sort of, hmm, what's it called? Just the dynamics of everything, I think. Mood. I'll go ahead and do that for mood. Why not? Innovation. This one's always rough for me, because, like, I guess I'm, like, stingy about this stuff. Like, thinking of what is, you know, innovative or not. And honestly, <coughs> when it comes to Game Jam games, like, there's so little time to work into, like, all the programming, and working out the designs and the art and putting everything together, that usually the mechanics are not innovative. Like nothing is super duper innovative about them. Like it, it's a platformer or it's like a card game or it's like a choose your own adventure thing or a shooter of some kind. Um, but, cause like this one, you know, it's just kind of like sort of a, a first-person puzzler. I think it even said that at one point, so I can't really say that. Um, and there wasn't much to it. Um, I think they worked a lot more on the presentation than like the actual mechanics of the game and stuff. So I don't think it's too innovative. I'll, I'll go ahead and do that for it. <clears> hmm. <throat> I think it was pretty fun. It was also pretty frustrating with the goat. Um, let's go ahead and do that. 
And then that would leave it, I guess, right about there. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so that's um, Scapegoat by uh, Arl Lazar. Uh, oh, uh, Alexi Okuna Shinokov. Wow, I'm bad. Um, who I guess is linear. Thomas Kresj and Angie Katnicka. So thank you for that. All right, next up we have Hyper Skater by Neo Who Are You? Uh, Hyper Skater is a platformer about a guy on a skateboard who rescues his friends. To rescue his friends, he must sacrifice energy from himself. But be careful, if the rescue costs too much energy, you die. Good news, there are collectibles to refill part of your energy. Uh, controls B. Okay, space to jump. Gameplay, just touch your odd friend so that he gets the energy. Collectibles give you new energy. Uh, three levels. Have fun. Cool. Oh, nice. HTML, always like that. All right, take it away, Aaron. All right, thank you. What were the controls again? Um, oh. Uh, A and D, move left and right, and spacebar, jump. Alright, then what is fire? Um, try it, spacebar? Wow, this is loud too. Okay. It's not working. Just click it, or hit enter. Um, oh. Alright, that one worked. So, space. Oh, you know, space works. For that, Jesus. Alright, so what's back here? A wall. Fantastic. Oh, I should have done that. Oh, 
No! <laughs> Shit. Alright. <coughs> I'm really sorry about that. and all my friends. That's fantastic. <coughs> uh, I guess my voice still hasn't really recovered. Oh. Right. I do like the music. I think it's just a little too loud though. Alright, John, um, you can take over now. All right, thanks. Uh, innovative. Uh, I'll I'll say a little bit. The energy platformers, not really. Theme. I, I'd say it was pretty strong on the theme. Not super strong. It's kind of like a a wholesome take on sacrifice. Like giving up energy to give to friends so they're, they're not depressed anymore. Like I like the premise. In fact, I actually made a game jam game that was similar, but so, so much like terrible, like m just awful compared to this. This is really nice. Uh, graphics. Yeah. Like pixel art is super nice. Love it. Audio, I really like the audio, but it was kind of loud too, so I'll give it like a four. Humor, there wasn't really a lot of humor at all, but like the whole, you did it bro, I guess can be funny. Mood, yes, full mood. Uh, fun, yes. So then that makes the overall, guess, out there. All right. So that was Hyperskater by Neo Who Are You. Uh, thank you for that. It was quite a nice little game that you made there. And it's a complete game, which is even more awesome. So, yeah. Good job. All right. The next one is uh, Demon Queen's Possessions. <laughs> she just smiled. Uh, made by Joe. The Demon Queen wants to take over the world. Her power, possession. However, it requires sacrifices. Lead the Queen to world domination by managing the sacrifices and controlling the units. From peasant to hero, passing by goblin, nothing will be spared. Use your cleverness to create spirit value from nothing. You'll see, it seems like you can grow your army, but you can. It's tricky, though. Hmm. Choose units to possess, choose units to sacrifice, and bam, fresh army units. If that doesn't work, you can always fight. <laughs> Faces. It is a hard game, but here's proof that it's possible. Oh, great. Take the challenge. My best. I was so close to zero kills, but I'm pretty sure it's impossible. That was with a very careful knowing all rounds approach. I think it's the best possible. Some tips. Goat has the ability to increase its spirit value. Sacrifice and possession is greater than fighting. By a lot, actually. You can almost not fight at all. 
campaign is 25 levels, they're always the same. Yes, you can learn from playthroughs to optimize approach. You can split one high level units for many low level units. The stars must match, but don't be afraid to downgrade. Hmm. Okay. Dropbox. Get rid of the pop-up. Oh, Game Maker. I've worked with that before. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's kind of a, a running trend with games. <laughs> um, it actually takes a lot of effort and work to balance out the audio to proper levels. It's like always too loud or too soft, but usually too loud, I'll say that. And I tend to agree. Alright, help. <laughs> Don't smirk at me. Sacrifice units to possess your foes. What is it? Spirit value. Both sides must match for valid sacrifice. These are sometimes... <laughs> Oh, it feels like she's entering my head. Oh, oh wow. I was <gasps> not expecting that. Jesus. Alright, these are some types. Some of your sacrifice is equal to some obsession. These are product types. Product your sacrifice is equal to product and possession. You cannot mix some and product and possession. However, the type does not matter for sacrifice. It will be calculated. According to possession type, possess inner sacrifice mode segment. Oh, okay, click for hard abilities. Oh boy. Oh boy, there's so much to this game. Oh. Alright, let's give it a go. I'm starting to 
get the hang of it, so that's good. Um, it's just, it doesn't matter. It's, yeah. Whoa. something what what's oh audio they opted out um yeah haven't ran into this yet but basically like um if you didn't make the audio yourself then it's probably best not to rate it like if it's just music or something but i, I have a feeling they found the sound effects so i i don't know why they opted out completely but um, innovation, um, I think that they put a lot of time and effort into 
the process of the mechanics. Uh, again, it's a, just a card game, and and honestly, like kind of similar mechanics I've seen elsewhere, but like they went through the trouble of trying to mm, excuse me balance a system around it, which is no uh, easy feat. Theme, yes, all the way, yes. Graphics, I really like the graphics actually. <coughs> Jesus. He just stop burping. Mood. Okay. Fun? Hmm. It was pretty fun. So then now I'd leave it at a four. Okay. Alright. So uh, that was Demon Queen's Possessions by Joe. Uh, thank you for sharing that. Welcome back, viewer. Wasn't that fun? It was super fun. Yep, I had fun. Anyway, um, if you stayed till the end, thank you. You're a real sweetheart. And take care, everyone. Uh, yep. See you next time.